my name is Gabriel Vanegas. I'm originally from Colombia, now living in Cologne, Germany, and uh, I've been working a lot about like media art for many years. And since like a couple of years, I start to work, especially into media archaeology, like trying to to learn a lot from our indigenous groups in Colombia, Bolivia, Peru, like basically all the Andes. So now in Berlin I'm doing a PhD about media archaeology and I start working with that and during this, this journey through the, all this high technology in the pre-Columbian times that are mostly lost, I, I met this, this um, this media and technology that I'm, I'm working on right here. One of those is uh, the kipu. It was like a, an old way of writing, a three-dimensional way of writing. And also the seques incas. Those are like uh, paths that the people were walking through. It was like a, a pilgrim path in order to, to pray for rain or for like dry seasons and so on. So I kind of learned a lot from, from the indigenous groups. I, were, I was visiting some indigenous groups in Colombia, Bolivia and Peru, and I learned a lot from them. I learned um, a little bit about this, about this media and also the problematic that we face now that most of this knowledge is lost because our Western um, uh, technology, our Western reality. So my idea or my, my aim is to kind of learn a lot, rescue with them together like those media and try to put it in this context, um, in this context where we have like digital media, we have like different types of technology and kind of um, learn from this all media and see ways of using it um, right now. So the, the piece that I developed for Digital Latin America <coughs> is called the, sound, the Lost Sounds of the Kipu. The Kipu is this media that I told you and uh, we don't know how to read this media. We don't know how to read the Kipu. This is one of the biggest mysteries in, uh, in archaeology. So what I am trying to do is to to take the kipu and connect it to a radio. Um, I feel like the radio waves and how our body is interfering in these radio waves is also well related to the kipu in a way because the kipu um, was a, a, media, a media that was very close to the, the person who was wearing it, who, was, who wrote, wrote that media. So that's why when you interfere in the radio waves in a way you are kind of writing another language so the piece is interactive you you can touch one the kipu in a way you can touch it and while you are touching it you are interfering into a transmission that i'm doing i did some interviews and and did some like also like some audio recordings in the Andes, so I'm transmitting these this sounds to the kipu, but the whole body of the kipu is also interfering this transmission that I'm doing. So when you touch one of the like knots of the kipu, then you can, synth you can tune the, the transmission that I'm doing. So basically now I'm, I'm building it, it's like very sensible because it, um, it, you, I'm interfering the antenna from the radio. So just let me turn it on. Here we hear like normal radio, but while you are like moving to this page, you are kind of interfering the signal that I'm sending. And now we start hearing what I'm the records that I did in Bolivia and Peru. You, you can, so in this way you can, through your body, you, you can tune the whole kipu and read these lost sounds of the kipu. Is, is it not possible to read the kipu anymore, but in, like this way of, of interacting with the kipu is like a, 
a way of approaching to this old technology in a relation with our new media, in a new discussion with all, all, the, all these traditions and all this knowledge that is lost in time.